introduce you. I wanted to introduce you to Adam. Not this Adam, but another Adam. He's 27. He's a real estate agent. Definitely not me. And he says the most romantic present he's ever received was a threesome. Whoa. It was his birthday. I want to introduce you to Alex. He's 28. He's an information system uh, supervisor who once ate a live salamander. And he says his favorite artist is The Rock. These two men will be on the next season of The Bachelorette. (laughs) And I want to read the rest of the profiles of these guys on The Bachelorette. Because they are the most absurd things I've ever read. This is great. I love this. Yes. (laughs) I love the show, by the way. I love it. It's such a train wreck. It's the best. So... Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, there was a time, uh, what was it called? I want to say Bachelor Pad or something. Bachelor par- par- Paradise. Par- it might have been Paradise Island, actually. Oh, okay. Me and our buddy Derek, we would get together on Mondays and watch it. And we're like, it's good. We would go to the beer store and p- pick up beer, and they'd be like, oh, you guys watching the game? And we'd be like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then we would get together and just be like, it's not right for her. <laughs> He's just, no way. I would love Don't to pick be part him. of that. Can you Skype me in? If you didn't live oh, three we cities, definitely should if, if you didn't three cities, live three cities away, I'd come over. I know. Oh, my God. Blake E. He's got to add the initial because I guess there's another there Blake There might be another Blake. Mm. 31. The Blake I. He's an aspiring drummer. His favorite childhood memory is horseback riding wait, camp. Wait, wait. How do you be an aspiring drummer? You drum or you don't? He's an aspiring drummer. At I think 31. he aspires to make money. Steve. I think he does the physical act of drumming. Steve Dangle, aspiring saxophone player. <laughs> His favorite childhood memory is horseback riding camp. He also doesn't think parking ticket people have souls. Wow. That's his... Oh, wow. Shit on the working man. Nice, man. Nice. That's great. Why don't you go back to horse riding camp? Are you serious? <laughs> what a, what a boot. He's just trying to, to park his horse, Adam. <laughs> Where do you put the ticket on a horse? That's a good point. Do you hair clip? <laughs> just put it on the mane? Blake K. No, we found the other Blake. It's such a stupid visual. <laughs> I know, right? That's, <laughs> that's so silly. Uh, Blake K, twenty nine, a uh, U.S. Marine veteran. Ah, oh. they always, they always have, they always have someone from the army. He said, if he was stranded on a desert island, he'd want it to be made of Chipotle. Uh, <sighs> now, okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So, so they asked him some like here. Favorite childhood memory. Yeah. Uh, What's your favorite food? Favorite. Uh, Chipotle. So if you were stranded <laughs> on it, <laughs> you'd want it to be made of the. So- I wouldn't want it to be made of the sauce Chipotle. And it he- would get washed away, and I'd die in the middle of the ocean because this island was made of Chipotle and lasted three seconds. Not Chipotle That's- sauce. They're like burritos, Chipotle. Still, that would di- that would dissolve very quickly in the ocean. This is not. Come on. So you better eat it quick. You live no. on the island of Chipotle. You're dead pretty soon. So hey. that's what that's what you say, Adam. But the producer asking him those questions probably received an answer of, <laughs> yeah. And then they wrote that down. And now he wants to be stranded on an island made of Chipotle. Right. So Brady is Brady. 29. He's a male model. They asked him, what's the most romantic gift you've ever received? What do you think he said? Was it a threesome? threesome. <laughs> It was not that's romance. by the way. Oh, that's that's a hot gift. I don't know if that's romantic. <laughs> he, said, he said romantic. Let's let's light some candles and put this in something else. Hey, I... <laughs> like, are we kidding? Are we serious? <laughs> let's get naked with somebody else. <laughs> that's not romantic. <laughs> ah, to, 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 to Blake M, maybe. Um. Okay, it's gonna be something super stupid. I'm gonna go with some kind of trinket, like some kind of figurine. Mm. What do you think? Yeah. Sorry, what's the question again? Brady, <laughs> Brady, twenty nine. He's oh. a male model. Okay, they of course. Him, what's the most romantic gift you've ever received? By the way, I'm surprised all these guys aren't aren't, aren't <laughs> male the next, models. The next they're one is from, drummer. They're male all, model. <laughs> they're all extremely good looking. Next Come one on. is Jason, male model. <laughs> now we have Noah, male model. <laughs> <laughs> Aspiring TV host, basically. <laughs> Followed um, by Fitzhugh, male model, uh, lacrosse player. Let's, okay, so uh, most romantic gifts, his name's Brady, probably a lacoste t shirt. Oh, wow. Lululemon sweatpants. Oh! Wow! wow! That's, wow. Wow. That's the most ro- Guys, come on! That's not your most romantic. Are you kidding? Brian, 37. He's the old guy on the show. The Silver Fox, yeah, if you, you will. But Brian knows some stuff and some Brian things. Brian can teach you a few things. 
He's a chiropractor. What, what do you think the wildest thing he's ever done in the bedroom is? Chiro- chiropractor Inc. <laughs> that would be pretty wild. It's like, hey, hang on, I'm just going to adjust you here. <laughs> I'm going to adjust your back in other places. Hey, because, you see, yeah, uh, some obvious joke mm. about deep tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're going to um, get so many messages like, that's not what being a chiropractor is. It's about cracking bones or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Doctors <laughs> hate prior- chiropractors, by the way. Yes, they do. Doctors hate them. <laughs> they're, Doctors they're hate her. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. what, what's what's this guy's name? Uh, Brian. Doctors seven. hate Brian. <laughs> Brian. Brian definitely used the sex wing at one point or another. Mm. He says handcuffs, blindfolds, hot wax, or balcony sex. All those things are are the craziest things he's done in the bedroom. Wow. Well, balcony well, isn't in the bedroom, a hole. So way to not answer the question the properly. Question. <laughs> God, maybe Brian should learn to listen. Out. See you, Brian. Yeah. How's how's his attention to detail? <laughs> <laughs> Think about that when you when you we got just, this, when you got a hand full of roses. I I got this weird pain in my neck. Cool. I'm gonna work on your lower back thing. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Brian, By chiropractor, way, told- <laughs> shitty listener. <laughs> that should be on his application. <laughs> Fuck Brian. I like oh, Brian. God. All right, Bryce is the firefighter. I his, bet his dream job. His dream job. Firefighter calendar month. <laughs> That's the dream job. Professional Instagrammer. Yes. <laughs> I knew it! I freaking knew it! Wait, he's an aspiring model! <laughs> <laughs> my, my, I want to sell fit tea. Who do you think oh. is a two-parter for his bio? Oh my god. <laughs> this is a great his thing that you're doing. His dream job is a professional Instagrammer. But who do you think he could see himself being? Like, a person? A like celebrity. A celebrity. Yeah, yeah. He could see himself being the celebrity in his life. Bryce, 30 years old. Dan Blazarian. Uh, I'm going to say <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> he said Matthew McConaughey. Close. <laughs> oh, jeez. Man, okay, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but Louis C.K.'s new special. Oh, it's so good. The Matthew McConaughey bit? The Magic Mike bit? Mm. Holy shit. I got to watch that. I got to watch that. So Holy Don't shit. say anything. Don't say anything. I got to watch that. <laughs> I haven't even seen the second Chappelle yet, so. Oh, me neither. Uh, no. We got, we got another two-parter on the bio. So, Dean, he's 26. Young guy. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. The Whipper. young cat. Yeah. Hey. But he's ready to settle down. Because oh. he, he came from a good Christian family, don't you? Oh, I think that's, they all, by the way, came from good Christian families. I don't know why that's a big thing on The Bachelor, he, but, it's like, yeah. but also Jesus. He steps out of the limo. She meets him for the first time. And yeah. what's your name? Dean, how do you feel about children? <laughs> I have eight abs and a love of Christ. Yeah. Eight children right now. How do you feel? How do you feel about that? You know, you'd be you'd be surprised at the uh, at one of the things in his bio. Oh, he thinks marriage is an institutionalized scam. Oh, so he's not a yeah. So so basically, he's the bad boy. He has to be the bad boy. The young bad boy. He wears leather jackets. Do you think he drives a motorcycle? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, does he does he like fold his t shirt sleeve to, he, to hold his cigarettes? cigarettes? The second part of his bio, he Did... has a tattoo. Oh no, on the inside of his lip. What do you think it says? It's one word. Now, Jesse, pizza. you used to have a tattoo <laughs> yeah, on the inside of your. Do. You still it's, do. It's a little faded, though. Oh, the, okay. It was a piece of pizza, which it's I thought there. was kind of cool. It looks like somebody took a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Was it you? Um, what is the <laughs> it tattoo was. of? It's in my mouth. <laughs> Wait, it says something. It says one word across the inside of his lip. Oh, I was going to <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. That might be the douchiest thing <laughs> I'm not expecting this to be some deep word. Oh my god, I got lightheaded. <laughs> what do you think Dean's tattoo says is not is unfortunately not freedom? Oh. Freedom. You made it to the Dean's list. I wish it was that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> His name's Dean. And you made it to the Dean's list. Do you think list. you were I was gonna say to, his, to his sex kills as the Dean's, the Dean's, Dean's list? list? Yes. Oh yeah. my god! Oh, I definitely know he's had that conversation. Oh. Remember, remember, guys, we're not bro culture. We're poking, poking fun at this. You ready for the <laughs> lean, mean a, Dean the, machine? Oh. We've just these are conversations as young men we've all overheard and went, oh, why? I, words. Oh, it says words. words. Oh, no. Very close to freedom. It says 
righteous. Ah! This man oh. literally has a tattoo in his mouth that says righteous. Okay, if he is not out in the first episode, I'm judging her. It's on oh, her. Yeah. Like judgment on her. Because yeah. you can't you can't keep a guy around who's got that going on. All of that. This is for Rachel, who seems like a super. She seems cool amazing. Yeah. yeah, she's gonna she's gonna see right through that. Yeah. I love her, by the Dean, way. Dean, twenty six, thinks marriage is an institutionalized scam. <laughs> has a tattoo on his inner lip that says righteous, was actually raised by the Ninja Turtles. By the way, now, <laughs> now in case you're all wondering, Bachelor uh, Bachelorette happens on a Monday night. So here's the thing. Every <laughs> Tuesday from now oh on my for the rest of the summer we don't have hockey. So what are we doing? Oh. Bachelorette. That's right. I like it. Bachelorette update. Like Demario. He's black. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice of the new By the way, this is the first black bachelorette, too. The, the, we got to the black guy. We finally. finally. <laughs> <laughs> Demario is a late '90s R&B singer, uh, <laughs> right? Oh my god! I, oh my, don't, Demar- <laughs> Nintendo's trying some new things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my Luigi's my out. God. Luigi's out. <laughs> Steven, what? <laughs> That's really funny. A marker, a marker <laughs> sitting in the room. All right. <laughs> So we need we need, Jesse, we need to hit the, the urban way Jesse community. Says shit, man. The way Jesse, I've been so excited for this bit from the moment Jesse opened it because he does this thing where he slows down and he puts his hands together as if to say, "Wait till you get a load of this shit," because this is gonna explode. I'm gonna explode. Mario is an ex recruiter who wants okay. a lion. What do you What do you think? An ex recruiter for what? Like a recruiter, job recruiter. Oh, so he, is, he okay. used to be an, a recruiter. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Headhunter. Okay. I don't know. Same thing. He wants a lion. What do you think Demario wants to name his lion? Let's. let's who, who are some famous lions? Aslan or Mufasa? Or you think about they had to grab the cliched black guy. What what do you think they they'd love for him to name his lion? Oh no! Don't make me as a white person answer this. <laughs> I I don't know where you're going. I, De, De Mario wants a lion, and he wants De, to name De it. Luigio. <laughs> De Wario. Denzel. Denzel the lion. Of all the things you can name your lion, come on. Of all the things you can name your fictitious lion, <laughs> would he do a home movie? Cat on fire <laughs> instead of man on fire. Oh, <laughs> that is a great turn your brain off movie, by the way. Oh, Cat on fire. Cat on fire. Fire. The cat is avenging the that fact is a that great... the poachers came for his family. If you want to watch a movie and for the first half hour go, where is this going? And for the next hour go, holy shit! Man on Fire is Man on Fire is really good. Very it's good. Denzel Washington getting fucking revenge. It's like Taken. It's yeah. another just, uh, like, you're like, yes, I want to be that person. But Denzel Washington instead of him. Next up is Diggy. <laughs> Diggy. Now wait, I'm going to read you wait. Diggy's butt. <laughs> wait. Wait. <laughs> Diggy? Diggy. Second generation Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. For sure. That's what he is, right? He's From a second Alberta. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. He's not he's not a human. He's a second generation yeah, Pokemon. They, they they've added animated. Pokemon to the Bachelor. That's cool. I mean yeah. Pokemon goes sponsoring the Bachelor this year. You didn't know that. So Diggy Diggy. Diggy. Former Diggy. Yeah, they're yeah. adding all the characters. Nintendo's all in. Nintendo. <laughs> He went deep in. So Diggy's 31. D- Demario passed it to Diggy for the WHL winning goal. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna read you his bio and just tell me, just tell me if he's a piece of shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he's definitely a piece of shit. Okay. Right. Like, let me know. All right. I want to know. He's a senior inventory analyst. He says he once slept with a girl and then pretended he was asleep when she found out her bro was missing. What? Found out her bro, her brother? Her brother. Her, it says Why do they bro. write her bro? Like, does because bro could be a friend. It says bro was missing. You know what is sucks? Diggy a piece of shit? Yeah. First of all, yes, Diggy is a piece yeah. of shit. Second of all, we don't know how big of a piece of shit he is yet because that story is so vague that they're going to get into it they're during the show. It. That's a tease. Yeah. That is a tease. I can't wait for that. That's. A te- I want to know <laughs> why Diggy is a piece of shit. Man. All right. <laughs> Eric. Eric's 29, and he's a personal trainer. 
What's his favorite? What's his favorite drink? What did he answer when when they asked him? What's your favorite drink? Wheatgrass. <laughs> Eric is a big fan. Of, Vitamin water. I think he's a. I think he's a uh, vodka crayon guy. Mm, smart, mm. smart water. Vodka crayon. When they said Eric, what's your favorite drink? He said green drink. What the hell is green drink? Green drink is all he said. It's a, there's no, there's purple drink from <laughs> yeah. Hell. But this yeah. is no, green, green drink. You mean like a green, like a green smoothie? Green drink is what Eric said. So that's like an apple flavor? It's, it's apple drink. <laughs> it's what Dave Chappelle described. Water sugar purple is grape drink. Yeah, water and sugar And then green. Water, water sugar green is apple drink. So do you think he was trying to be funny? I don't know. I don't okay. think Eric tries at any. All right, cool. <laughs> Probably doesn't have to. He's good looking. Um, okay. Aspiring model. Now, <laughs> now, Fred's a bit of a weirdo. Because I don't know well, why. Well, you got to have the quirky guy. <laughs> Compared to these other guys, Fred's a little out there. Yeah, they, Because <laughs> I don't know why this would be the thing you put out in your bio. He's an executive assistant. And he said there are times he gets aroused at work and has to go back to his desk to avoid being noticed. Fred, he says, I get awkward boners, and this is what I want you to know about me. Is this foreshadowing for the show? <laughs> Fred's a creep, man. Listen, uh, we all get moments momentary, everybody, both genders, yeah. all genders, yeah. get, not just both, all. Imagine if that's um, his thing throughout the whole show, <laughs> is he's just walking around with a big smile on his face. Big old boner. <laughs> Don't act like you're not impressed. Hi, I'm yeah. Fred. And she's like, hi. Oh, my. <laughs> Just the entire show. They, oh, all right, everyone, out to the pool. We got a challenge. <laughs> that tells me that Fred's going to have an awkward moment. But it'll be just with the boys. You know, they have the mo moments where the boys, funny things happen with just and the they boys. All, they're all just sitting there for some reason. They never have a shirt on. Yeah. And there's Fred. There's Because you know when you're sitting with your friends and you're, sh and you're perfectly shaven chest? You're your perfectly oh, totally. shaven chest and you're like, you know, I don't feel like this shirt is, is oppressive. I'm taking it off. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's Fred was looking at Demario and then he just, he got his awkward boner. Demario sounds <laughs> handsome. That is a handsome name. You yeah. got to give Demario credit. That's why I said like late 90s R&B singer. I thought like. Oh, Demario. Like that is, you're yeah. a, you are a, a track. You're that guy. Who's the guy in the video that had the hands all over him and he had the one big hit in like 2001? Oh, um, uh, and Cisco? No, no, not Cisco. No. <laughs> Um, genuine? And he just came no, back. No, not Genuine. That's who I was going to say. But he had like a crazy body. And it, it was like started super... with. D'Angelo. D'Angelo. That's who I was thinking when I thought Demario. I'm like, he's going to be a good looking dude who belongs in like an R&B video with attractive women, yeah. you know, all hands all over. Yes. Now, you got to look at that D'Angelo video. Uh, yeah. No, he doesn't. <laughs> you might, you might so, end up like Fred if you're watching. We, we, uh, what's, <laughs> I think we've hit a theme with the bios because next, I'm not, I'm not even going to read his name because the name is just so absurd. He's a consulting firm CEO. Wait, this name. <laughs> This is what did it for, and now for something really crazy. His story is that he once got a boner during a board meeting and had to present sitting down. So why is random boners a thing on the? Well, I mean, it's 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 listen. Being randomly turned on, I think, for a human being, for most human beings, is a thing. Mystery name and Fred are going to um, get into some kind of really <laughs> awkward wrestling match. It's it's obviously different based on what appendage you have, mm -hmm. um, because I you know because <laughs> men it's a little bit more visible, right? Yeah, I think we can agree on that for sure. Um, so I mean, I don't get it. If someone asks you, Adam. Tell me something interesting about I'm you. not telling you about my awkward boner. Probably not. <laughs> I might tell you about awkwardboners.com, but I might not. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> but, <laughs> the first thing Jesse, you think of isn't, hey, I got a boner once. No. Jesse, okay. <laughs> I, I really want to know his name. It's something It's something very close to your heart. How, how white is this name? Is this guy's I, name Iggy? His name is Iggy. <gasps> <gasps> no! <laughs> There's an Iggy on that <laughs> Oh my god! That's we're, amazing! All Mondays, we're gonna see if Iggy, if Rachel picks Iggy every you, month. You have to pick. By the way, we I think we gotta make. Do we make our picks on the. Oh, this wait. is what Iggy looks like. Oh, Iggy's not gonna make it, man. Sorry, Iggy. Iggy. Anyways. Nope. No, Iggy's. Nope. Nope. Every, every season. Iggy's, Iggy's the average man. Every season, whether it's Bachelorette or Bachelor, there's always at least one or two people in the house that are just there to be friends. Hey, come on, everybody. Yeah. Why hey, he always why getting, makes the top five? Yeah, yeah, why are you always getting competitive? Come on, everybody. That's him. Yep. Iggy is everyone's friend, and which is, his name is perfect. And they always get dropped at, you know, five left because the contestant always likes them. 
but then yeah. always likes them as a friend. Uh, yeah. And then they go home and they're like, I'm a little upset, but I'm going to be okay. I'm a little upset, but you know, I just, I still really care for her. Oh. Uh, uh, Jamie. There's an Iggy and a Diggy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jamie, who spells his name? <laughs> Get Jamie Diggy with him. <laughs> Jamie spells his name J-A-M-E-Y. And he's Damn. 32. I've seen it. He's a sales account executive who says he does not have female friends, but he wants his ideal date to look like a model. So you're a chauvinist pig, then. <laughs> that sounds like chauvinist pig. I'm gonna. I'm he's gonna a go friend a, of Mike you, Pence. I'm gonna go on a. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he's an alpha <laughs> and annoying. Do you think it's weird he has no female friends? Yes, I and need to see Jamie. He wants his date is, to look like. I want to see Jamie. Like. Steve, Steve's Jamie wife is like? as much as I we don't see each other every day is one of my my closest friends, for what? sure. <laughs> friends and like I can't imagine not having I can't imagine. Oh my god! He doesn't have female friends and wants his ideal date to look like a model. And he's smiling like an alien who just got control of his human body and is trying <laughs> to blend in. I'll start showing you guys the pictures of each one because they're. Also ridiculous. Um, Jonathan. I am human Jamie. I mean, I am Jamie. How are you? I was born on Earth. I was born on Earth, weren't you? (laughs) Jonathan has the worst smile, by the way. He's 31. He described himself as a tickle monster. (laughs) 31. Imagine at 31 you're describing yourself as a tickle monster. All right. All right. He says he has sand from the beach all over his house floor. So, you know, he... He goes to the so dirty ass house. Let's guess his three favorite singers. Oh no. Luke Bryan, <laughs> Keith Urban, uh, and the Beach Boys. <laughs> no, because he's he's a tickle that monster. Was very good. <laughs> what was he close? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I mean, come on. That is very good. And nothing wrong with it's any of those Lady acts, by the way. Yeah, Lady. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing wrong with either any of those people. I'm just saying. He sounds extraordinarily generic, so we're going to go you two. <laughs> yes. Coldplay. <laughs> and what is the other ginormous <laughs> band after that? Nickelback. No, no, I don't even know if Nickelback's on that level anymore. Um, still really into Maroon 5. Bon Jovi. Maroon oh, 5. There you, no, Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Yeah. yeah. Maroon 5's he, in there, too. He goes with Elvis, Britney Spears. <laughs> what? And, and the third one is everyone's favorite rapper, Flo Rida. Jonathan, everyone. I'll show you Jonathan picture. sucks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, that's a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just imagine him sw- just in his Who does he look like? In his in his cavalier <laughs> driving down the street going, "You spin my head right round, right round." Like he probably I sure hope Pitbull comes on after he, this. He sings the Kesha part. <laughs> <laughs> he knows all the words yeah. of the Kesha part. He looks like uh um Last Man on Earth. Uh, um, Will Arnett? Um, yeah. No. No. Um, the other guy in it. <sighs> the guy was the last man. Not on Will Arnett. Yeah. Um, Will. Uh, Will. You interviewed him. He follows me. We follow <laughs> each other. <laughs> Will. Um. Oh my God. Why? That's who he Arnett? looks like. He looks like a clean shaven oh bat. God, look at him. Look Hang on. Look at him. Yeah, go ahead. Look it up. Right? Yeah, yeah. He looks like him. He's such yeah, a good he looks guy, like, too. It, it, they have different noses, but everything else is the same. A smile. Will Forte. Will, Will Forte, Forte, thank you. Who's the nicest dude. Add him to the list of the nicest dudes. <laughs> but not Jamie. <laughs> not Jamie. Not Fred, either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need to speed uh, this up. Uh, who's okay. Who's Kenny admits that he once had sex with a wife while her husband watched. <laughs> What's the term for that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why don't we ask conservative Twitter? I I want to yeah no I want to ask Jesse when he's showing us the penguin video. <laughs> That's what I I don't know. I guess you're trying to be outrageous for the show. I keep forgetting that this is a show and not they're actually trying to impress this girl. No, you should be trying to do both. I think they're doing both. <laughs> I think there is, I think there's some genuine, like, people that show up there. I think there's people that don't, but I think there are people that show up there and genuinely want to find love. I think there is. Lee is a singer-songwriter who says he's a pleaser under wraps. Uh, And his favorite actor is Matthew McConaughey. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is with Okay. I like this league. Here's guy. the thing, Matthew McConaughey is a great actor. But if 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 you talk to someone and their favorite actor is Matthew McConaughey, if you talk to someone and they have a favorite actor, I'm like <laughs> If you know Matthew I mean? McConaughey was on The Bachelorette, <laughs> he would have that bio. Yeah. I'm a uh, what is it? I'm a pleaser under wraps. Under wraps. And uh, I bet he drives a Lincoln what just because Matthew mean? McConaughey what is, does. What is Matt's favorite group? Now, the, <laughs> Matt Matt is the guy Adam described earlier. Dave Matthews Band. <laughs> His favorite group is Train. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why he says his favorite because group is Train? Because Sweet Soul Sister is a classic. <laughs> because he say he said they stand the test of time. Right. Oh. Train. Sometimes I hear drops of Jupiter and still cry. Tell me. <laughs> um, Michael is a pro basketball player from Bulgaria. Oh, sick. Okay, now I'm interested. Well, that's kind of neat. He follows a pa- paleo di- diet, and he's seen each episode of Martin more than a hundred times. Martin. 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 Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. Oh! Old, old show. Oh, God. Why would you watch it over? <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. I mean, he seems like the coolest one so far. Milton, Milton's very forthright about why he's there. He says in his body. To get his stapler. He's. <laughs> 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 Uh, He's a hotel recreation supervisor, and he says he wants to be discovered, in quotes, on The Bachelorette. So he's there to be discovered. He's not there to win love. That's his bio. He <laughs> wants to be discovered on the back. And he's so sorry. everyone, everyone else gives her a dainty handshake when they get out of the limo. He's gonna go, "How I Milton! <laughs> Look at the world, Milton is here. <sighs> Here's my headshot. Uh, uh, well, final two. Let's go. Let's go with the. Uh, Let's go with Rob. First. Every interview is going to be cheating to the camera. So what do you think? No, let's go. With, let's go with Will first. What do you think's going on? Hey, the wind machine. Just, just put, can you put the wind machine over a little bit? Oh. <laughs> Will's a sales manager who says he's unwilling to be a woman's second choice. Oh, Will well, if you're on the Bachelorette, dog, you're going to be a, among twenty. What does Will have tattooed on his shoulders? Righteous. It better be his mother's freaking name. <laughs> oh no! And a heart on, on the back of his shoulder. Back what of his shoulder. It's gonna shoulders. be like shoulders. Okay, it's so it's a, it's an eagle. It's a freaking winged eagle thing. Is it probably is it, probably culturally appropriated too? Is is it a picture or a or words? It's not words. So it's a picture. No, it's definitely a cartoon character. It's sorry. It's a picture, not words. It's, a, yeah, it's not words. How old is he? He's 28. So he got that when he was like 23, 24. Mm-hmm. Do we know anything about else, else about him? What'd you say? He has uh, Hey Arnold tattooed on his shoulder. He's unwilling to be a woman's second choice. Adam, you were, you were going along the right lines. He has angel wings tattooed on the back of his shoulders. <laughs> it's good. No one else has that. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I put original. Gets, I hope he gets barbed wire around his, uh, around his uh, bicep because that's, uh, that's yeah. another one he needs. And Rob, Rob, our final guy, he's uh, the smartest of the bunch. He said one day he would like to be Superman because they are both U.S. and aliens. I don't know why. Say that again. <laughs> they are both he U.S.? He would like to be Superman because they are both U.S. aliens. So he's an immigrant. Oh, yeah. Did he, I yeah, know. did he, like, he's come a, to the States illegally? Is that? That's, that's what his bio says. I just read it. I mean... You know, plot twist, he's pro wall. <laughs> you watch. You watch. It'll come up. <laughs> How great would that be? First episode, all the guys are just sitting around. So what do you think about Trump? <laughs> like just boom. <laughs> it will end, well, what's great is everyone's going to sit around awkwardly and silently. And then one guy's going to go, you know what I think? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's probably going to be the guy who asked the question. Yeah. Yeah. Those are, that's the cast of The Bachelor. Well, everyone. okay. This is going to be a fun <laughs> season. So it starts Monday? Uh, I don't know when the premiere date is. I, I know a lot of you have your you know, preconceived notions about the show and your hang-ups Get about ready. maybe watching The Bachelorette. Who's not watching that? Come on. Especially after that. It, c- can we do this? I would love to do... Um, Watch you know, this we got our playoff brackets, hammered? which we haven't checked in. Oh. I would like to look at, and we should check in on our playoff brackets, by the way. Um, I want to do a Bachelor thing. Uh, there's got to be a website that'll let us do it for free, kind of like NHL.com. A pool. A pool. Oh, there's so got to be. You pick a winner. Who's when does your, it start? Who's your guy? 
I, I think it's got to be Monday because we've been running promos for it on City like over and over and over again. I'm very excited for the season, man. I'm so excited. Because here's the thing. The, the, <laughs> the women's seasons, the drama's better. The guy seasons, the douche is better. Right? It's like, oh my God. You know what I mean? That's a very, yeah, the that's douche, astute. Yeah. The Monday, douche, May 22nd. That's Monday. Better. So it's Monday. 22nd, so yeah. yo, you've, uh, if you're in Canada, you've got that Monday off. Even if there's a hockey game, which there probably will be, PBR it, watch it, because we will be doing an update. Nah. Yep. We'll see. We're coming in. I might watch hockey and then not watch Bachelorette. <laughs> I will let you know what happened on the Bachelorette. I <laughs> ba- will make notes. Can we get do Adam's Bachelorette update? Well, no, no. We all have to watch. Come on. We got to be in on <laughs> this. Be in. We got to be in on this a little bit. Watch the highlights. Read the recap. Whatever it is. Just be a part of it. Okay? It's no fun unless everybody partakes. There it is. All right. So, we got to go. <laughs> Especially if you if you ask one of those guys when you talk about romantic gifts. No fun unless everybody all, partakes. All I, can, all I can think of... All I can think of with that Bulgarian guy going, I've watched every episode of Martin. Is that part of Euro Trip where he's like, oh, Miami Weiss, number one new show. <laughs> <laughs> where is the beef? <laughs> where is it? Nowhere near Berlin. Sorry, I like that movie. Uh, it is a great movie and completely uh, somewhat racist in certain parts, especially the Italian <gasps> Oh, very part. much. Somewhat. <laughs> no. Like every stereotype ever. Oh, 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 my God, yeah. Yeah. I saw that on my 16th birthday, which was 2004, which apparently was in the 50s. Feels like it now. Uh, hey, so thanks so much for listening. <laughs> that was a good uh, one. Tweet us which bachelor you would like to date. I'm lightheaded. Yeah, yeah which, which one's your favorite? Which one's your guy? Who's which your one, guy? Yeah, who's your pick to win? Mm-hmm. And who's, by the way, who's your slur? Who's your slur? Uh, put it on Reddit too. We'll start a thread yeah. there. I want to know who your slur guy is, and pick I want to know why. Schler. It's important to know why. Yeah. Because you can't just pick a guy and go, I like the way he smiles. Well, you can, but give me a reason. Yeah. Not the way he's. It's like, is he the is are he the you, dark are you horse into threesomes? Is that? Do you think that is also a romantic? I don't think that's romantic. Again. Do you like guys who get awkward boners in meetings? <laughs> Have you also slept with someone else's wife while the husband watched? I don't know if awkward boner is an acceptable show title for Sportsnet.ca. We'll have to come up with a different name. <laughs> We'll just call it Fred. (laughs) (laughs) We found it. We found it. Okay, Uh, hockey and stuff. All right, we'll see you next Tuesday. (sighs) Follow the guys on Twitter at Steve underscore Dangle, at Adam W Y L D E, and at Jesse Blake. The Steve Dangle Podcast. Download the rest of the show at Sportsnet.ca.